must be the place to be, I guess. Or just the place I always am. So what's the play here? What are you thinking? I'm not sure yet. You? At the beginning, you have a fatal attraction. Dan Gallagher has the wife. He's got the baby. He thinks he's well-respected inside of his office. It's an incredibly complicated journey about a family. Their lives get upended by Dan Gallagher having an affair with a woman who does not want this affair to end. He's creating a space of emotional intimacy with a woman who is not his wife. And it is the catalyst for many terrible things that end up happening. Everything's going smoothly. Hi. Um, it's my husband Dan, Dan, Alex Forrest. No, I know him already. Then all hell breaks loose. We wanted to tell a story that was about how one mistake can unravel lives. I wanted to cover the ground that the original film covered, but then I also wanted to bring the perspective of today onto that story. The film did a really good job, I think, of setting up the main affair. I finally found somebody who wants to be with me. But the series does a really good job of picking up with the fallout after the affair. Dan is a golden boy, but he needs everyone else to like him too. Dan has that secret sauce of charisma, but he's wonderfully flawed. He carries himself as a strong, confident man, and at a moment of emotional crisis, he reaches out for somebody who is willing to stroke that piece of his ego. He's selfish and wants to be able to have this really satisfying experience with this beautiful woman and close the door and go back to his family life. And little does he know that he's in a toxic dance with somebody who has issues of her own. He reaches out for this forbidden fruit. And, oof, man, it does not go well. <laughs> it was very important to us to represent Alex's perspective. When we first meet Alex, she's starting over, and so she's doing everything possible to see the world with fresh eyes. Unfortunately, the reality is her issues are just too extreme, and she's not going to outrun them. We get to really dig into her psyche, her backstory, uh, how she became this kind of woman who needs this sort of energy from men. So now we had the opportunity to make her a full-fledged character. I think audiences look for that now. They want to see why characters make the decisions they make. Because it's a series, we are able to go into the nuances of every character. It's really interesting to do a deeper dive into what motivates all of these specific characters. In a way, it's dealing with the collateral damage of a bomb going off. Because it's written so well, it's it really interesting to watch how these people go through this. This is like some Greek tragedy all playing against each other with themes of infidelity, morality. This isn't your typical series. And I think that's probably the most interesting new layer that we're putting into Fatal Attraction. And I'm really excited for people to get to see that.